Hello Gold Fam, Culver coming at you again. This is the flash in the pan, two and a half grams of chunky gold. The wind is bad. It's been blowing off and on rain and snow. I opened up the bag and apparently shut off the video. I picked out a couple of cool rocks. Nice piece of crystalline silver. Some maybe quartz or chalcedony. And some kind of banded rock. That's really cool. I like that one. Anyway, already dumped it out. I typically don't classify. So I pan it how the person intended the painter to be. And so let's get into it. Get everything wet. And from what his bag says, this is a blended dirt from all over. Looks like there's some chocolate milk in there. Pour off that stuff. Get everything shook down to the bottom corner of the pan that's heavy. Dump off some more of that muck. wash it a few times get everything that might be in there broke up good before you start panning it if you're panning level if you're not confident in panning it's best to classify you get to a certain point to where you're comfortable doing it or the material is that hard that you break it down to make it easier on yourself I tend to make it harder on myself on purpose so I don't burn through it so fast. Got a lot of pretty rocks poking up. Hands are already sinked. You hear something heavy down in the bottom. So I hope everybody's having a great Easter Sunday weekend. It's kind of weird it being at the end of March because of leap year. Another cool piece. Two or three times wash it off. Get it back to the bottom of the pan. Restratify. Put the material off. I go through and pick rocks out of the way. See another little piece of silver in there, it looks like. So you can find this pater at flashinthepan.com. I left a link in the description. Also, 
You got some pay dirts at culverprospecting.com if you want to try some Colorado dirt. Both guaranteed to please. And there's another cool banded crystal of sorts. That's really neat. Some cool goodies in this one. Some people like the extras. Some people like just good old fashioned meat and potatoes dirt. I like doing both. I don't have a preference either way. I like finding a little extra stuff in there. But not all the time, so. Getting close to the bottom now. Started seeing some of that shiny poke out. Slow it down a little bit. See some of that material getting black. Just for curiosity's sake. Yeah, there's some magnetic. Turn my water pretty dark really fast. Some light brush strokes of water, remove the black sands, Got another pretty rock. If they're down there on the bottom, it could be a gemstone. Definitely still here is something heavy down there on the bottom of the pan. Starting to see some silver walk. Oh, let's get the stuff out of the materials, out of the riffles. Do a pan back. So here we go. I think I got a little bit too much water. I can deal with that. Some more pretty rocks. Looks like a piece of amethyst. Some more crystalline silver. See a pretty good nugget of gold there. That's a nice one. Piece of crystalline silver washing down I'll pick out later. One little piece of fine gold there, trying to creep down with the sands. Just a few small pieces, but look at all those chunks. Let me get you zoomed in here a little more. Yeah, baby. That's probably a bona fide nuggie there, huh? It's a pretty good one. And look at this one. This one's bright and yellow. Holy cow. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. All right. I'm going to finish this up. Until the next time, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you again. Oh, here, let's try this. Peace.